Yeah, we've seen uh, the, the bigger fighters, definitely not always the guys that come out on top. Just uh, anyone who's fought the Diaz brothers. Yeah, uh, absolutely. You know, they're just, their physique it makes them look like the smaller frame guy every fight. And another thing you got to remember is those muscles take oxygen. Right. So a lot of times it'll zap your cardio of these big muscular and guys. And they weigh a lot. Let's yeah. be real. All right, let's check out our peak tail of the tape. 32-year-old Abe Ramos facing 37-year-old Brandon Manoff, both 5'9". The, as you said, a catchweight fight at 165. Ramos weighing in at 171. Manoff at 165. Three and five amateur record for Ramos. Three and two for Manoff. And let's throw it to our MCF Cage announcer, Mike Kendall. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds of the MCF catchweight at 165 pounds. Brought to you tonight by the Good Life on the Bricks, the official after party of MCF St. Patty's beatdown tonight. We'll see you there when the fights conclude. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. This freestyle fighter stands five foot eight, weighed in 171 pounds, yields an amateur record, three wins, six defeats. Representing your mom's basement in fighting out of Imperial, Nebraska, A. Malachi Ramos. His opponent across the cage fighting out of the red corner is a grappler standing five foot eight, weighed in 167.4 pounds. Yields an amateur record, three wins, two defeats. Representing Factory X and fighting out of Inglewood, Colorado, by way of Las Vegas, Nevada, Brandon Ranch Dressing Manor. Not, not real familiar with your mom's basement, Jim, but I hear they focus a lot on cardio. Oh, I, I mean, my mom doesn't have a basement. Yeah. So I'm not Crawl sure. Crawl space, maybe. You must not have meant that to Can't me. Can't stand directly. up. Well, I, we'll, we'll stay see. down. All right, here we go. We are underway. Our sixth bout of the evening. Man off in the solid, or excuse me, black trunks Ooh. with some white Ooh. print. That right and hand. And Hankins in the solid attempt. black trunks. A big right hand thrown, but Man off goes in. He threw and that. Gets the double leg. He threw that big right hand to, to, to close in and get that takedown. But I mean, he's throwing hard. Wrong. It was cruel intentions on the end of that one. Brandon Man off the aggressor here early on. And a good reversal. He made, he made a little big mistake, got way too high. Got high on him, yep. But you want to want to see, we'll see what Ramos does. He seems to be staying loose, but you got to be careful that big power right hand that Manoff wants to throw, because if that sucker lands, you're going night-night, because he throws it with everything. Yeah, Ramos definitely aware of that right hand now from Manoff. Kind of a wild kick, but neither one of them really committing to a solid kick, but... Yeah. A big oh, takedown. Man, you can hear that one. Skin now he's the looking elbow. for that arm triangle. He's going to set up that arm triangle. This man, one's going to be over quick. Man off in the His half guard starting to turn of Ramos. It's over. And there it is. He's, he's out. out. He's, he's asleep. Out. He's, out. He's, asleep. he's asleep. He's asleep. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. You, you got to... You got to pay. You got to pay attention. And he's back now. You see him starting to fight, but yeah, he was out for a little bit before Big Fitz recognized it. And we're almost uh, back awake now. Tried to fight Dr. Jason Sitta. Yeah, I mean, you got to be able to recognize that. Once the guy reaches up and pushes his arm like that, and the face goes purple, and then he lets go of his hand. All that blood rushes. You're out, man. You're out. Yeah. You're clearly out when you let go of that hand. And you see uh, Ramos asking Dr. Sita to look at his knee. Apparently went went down and rolled on that knee during that exchange. Yeah, I mean, that's not what ended the fight, though. I mean, no, it, it was, was a, a sweet, beautifully set up arm triangle. Yes, Technically sir. done just how it was and set up how it needed to be. And Good with night. a guy that's that strong, Man, early in the fight when he still has all of his strength and you're not sweaty yet, that man, if you don't start defending that right out of the gate quick, you're in trouble. You're never, you're not going to stop it. And Ramos going to get up favoring that that right leg. Well, I'd say uh, I would not. I wouldn't hang out in mom's basement anymore. Yeah, we'd maybe um, go find come uh, up out of there. Don't somebody want to do else's that. basement, or just come up out of the basement yeah. altogether. You know. Can't, lots of lots of good gyms out there. Yeah, you can't live in mom's basement forever. All right, and I think we're ready. Let's go to Mike Kendall with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee Big Fitz calls a stop to the fight. One minute, 14 seconds in the very first round. 
Declaring your winner by technical submission by arm triangle, Brandon Ranch Dressing Manoff. There you have it, Brandon Manoff. The victory he improves to four and two as an amateur mixed martial artist. Abe Ramos will fall to three and six as we go to the replay. Yeah, you'll see here. It shoots under that lazy. Brandon Manoff, everybody. Sorry, here's Elizabeth. Congratulations. Was there a little bit of beef coming up to that? It was a little intense at the end of the fight right there. Yeah, I mean, we, we signed a contract at 165. We got three pounds. I made weight. He came in three pounds over the he came in three pounds over the limit. He showed up four and a half hours late to weigh-ins. I, I come from a professional gym. Factory X is the best gym in the world. Hey, we're world class. We show up as professionals. We show up on time. We show up late. Are you planning on going pro this year? I'm planning on going pro next. Who do you want to fight next as a professional? Anybody. Give me five days notice. I'm at 155, so you give me five days to make 155, anybody can get it. Good luck to you in the future. Brandon, everybody! All right, there you go. Brandon Manoff, the Factory X fighter with the victory at Midwest Championship Fighting 22, improving Look to four slam. and two as an amateur. And yeah, the replay slam. shows it right there. And then he's right away going for that arm triangle, as you can see. He slips that over. He's got his head on the other side. He's starting to crimp up. And then this is, you know, if we make it that far in the replay, you can see he grabs his hand. That's how you defend it, trying to push that pressure off. But the minute his hand lets go, he's out. And the referee should have identified that and stop that right away. Like right there, he's out. There's, I mean, he's out. Way out. He is asleep. And that was let that was let go, you know. Ugh, you know. Oof. Hey, you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta you be, gotta be on Johnny that. on the spot for that. But in any case, the victory goes to Brandon Manoff, and I think we're ready for RMCF Cage announcer Mike Kendall and Ava.